some energy in here, okay? This is a wonderful event, and I'm so delighted to be a part of the foundation laying ceremony of Sagman International Medical College and Hospital at the University of Science and Technology, Megala, in the august presence of all these distinguished guests and personalities and to the entire USTM fraternity. Thank you for the warm welcome. We will have a fun interaction session, but I'm here for gratitude. And a lot of you have asked me, is India new to you? And before I get into what I, my opening remarks, India is not new to me. I've been here for over 25 years. I have about 150 saris. This culture is very close to me. And I just want to say thank you for the warm welcome back home. Ladies and gentlemen, it's indeed a matter of great pleasure for me to visit and see your energy and be with everyone. This campus is located at the remote corner, and it is my first time here to the north, and I couldn't be more proud of the warm welcome. So thank you. I cannot say thank you enough. Thank you. I'm extremely glad to know the humble journey of its founder and chancellor. Hulk. This energy is amazing. And I think we've heard that, but he is fired up. You all should feel great as students here. And I've learned a lot about him and his story is very inspirational. I know you know that. But someone who's been on Zoom with him since April, and the team, which you may not know, I've learned a lot in a short time about him and this story, and I'm honored to be here. He has passed through a lot of distress after losing his parents at a very early age of his life, but overcoming crisis, struggle, poverty, he finally completed his studies with flying colors. We're here. From prestigious institutions of India, this man is who we all should inspire to be like. And I hope you appreciate him as much as I appreciate him. Please, thank you. For those of you that don't know, and hopefully you're learning something from this, he was offered several good jobs but he preferred to serve. Imagine that. He preferred to serve the, the region through education. So he started his journey with one computer. One computer. It's amazing. And four students in the year, guess what year? 2001. And then he rented a premise in Gohani Azam, and in a remarkably short period of time, he was able to establish the biggest educational network in the Northeast India, including USTM, which has been accredited with grade A by NAAC in its very first cycle of assessment, and became the first private university from the Northeast India to be ranked within the top 200 universities of India. You all should be screaming right now. It's my great pleasure, thank you. It's my great pleasure to meet with Mr. Hoke, even though we've met over Zoom, his lovely family, his two sons, his wife, I don't know where his wife is, Madame. Uh, thank you for the warm welcome. Where is she? She's somewhere. There she is. Thank you for the warm welcome and hospitality last night. Mr. Hope, he has so much strength of will to build institutions, and we saw that. And he set the Traverse to further distance fulfilling its educational mission and societal commitment. He has done it. I would say we have arrived, Dr. Hope. You have. We have arrived. I couldn't be more proud for your family. I'm highly impressed to know the success of the university 
in overcoming the barriers of woman education, which is close to my heart. I know we'll have some time to interact later, so feel free. I'm very interactive, and I prefer interaction, quite frankly. I'm very overcome by it, by making the women's education presence in a much higher percentage than the male counterpart in teaching and learning process. That's amazing. I've recently learned, and this is a key fact, I had to write it down, the university is having more than 57% girls and students. All the women, please stand up. Can you please stand up, ladies? and being a woman connected and worked, and I've worked in extensive global organizations, communities, and premier organizations across the globe, hence India feels like home, I truly appreciate the commitment of Chancellor Ho and his family. I cannot say it enough. I appreciate the visionary, and I also appreciate what he's done to achieve this and the rare success in a short period of time. It's, it's, over, it's overwhelming, it's, it's wonderful to see. And I am very encouraged to bring this back to the world. It's amazing to know that the students belonging to 60 communities, mainly from the northeast states of India, and you're studying at this lush Lavis campus. When I pulled up today, boy, did we have a coming, thank you. But it was very lush. You all are very blessed here. And you are, are living, most importantly, with your hearts, peace, peace, love, harmony, despite all the turmoil that's happening in the world. And personally, I believe, and I told some folks I didn't want to go back to the US, that this is a perfect example for the world to learn from. And I cannot wait to take this spirit back all around the world. And it's a lesson for the world to learn how you achieve these values in universal integration and brotherhood. Very important. I truly appreciate your outstanding performance here, all of your students, faculty, in the field of academics, research, innovation, creativity, societal welfare activities, and it's been a rendering service to the people of the state through the region, through several unique initiatives and best practices that I hope all of you understand, but I'll take a moment, I just think it's very important for context. Recently, the university has adopted a series of innovation and best practices to extend the best possible services to the student community and to the society, which are groundbreaking, and we saw groundbreaking earlier. A lot of this comes in parallel, as you can see. This is the first of its kind. You all are making history, whether you know it or not. I'm very proud of you. One initiative that I want to call out, I think it's really important, is the neighborhood mission, which under this, the university is providing higher education to all the neighboring villages, which I cannot wait to see. We were driving up, and I cannot wait to see um, some of them. Giving 100% free education, or with at least 50% of scholarship to ensure zero dropouts in the entire neighborhood of the university. That's incredible. This is in addition to providing free and conceptual education support students to almost 20% of the total enrollment. I applaud Mr. Pope. I applaud him. You all should applaud him, please. For such a bold and unparalleled initiative and strength. And I feel if other universities adopt this, 
we could really bring a revolution to society, and I'm focused on that as your global ambassador. So hopefully get ready here. I've learned about other unique um, initiatives. An annual mega event of graduates, which is the largest gathering of educated youth to the entire northeast of India, called Northeast Graduate Congress. Does anyone, everyone know about this? Okay, we're having interaction here, okay? Um, which tens of thousands of students from all Northeastern takes part. And one of the most significant parts of this is three day long NEGC program, which stands for Northeast Graduate Congress. It was really interesting to learn about. It's where color, students, colorful tribes come. You might have heard about this. We saw some of it uh, coming up from all aspects of the community in their colorful, cultural rally. I want to costumes, but what they believe in. And it's actually displaying the best example of unity and diversity. And I'm all about unity and diversity for those of you. Hopefully, yes, yes that was amazing. Um, and I believe this world needs more unity of diversity. Creating such a gigantic platform for youth, which this program did, which allows them to showcase their cultures in a massive platform, at the same time express their concerns freely, I think that's important, with the experts and career counselors in order to provide them the right guidance in their career. Everyone needs guidance in their career. Please. Reach out, take advantage of these programs. I see students and faculty, I see media, but please reach out for this. I cannot say this enough as someone who has lived through this and needed help. Another unique and praiseworthy step of the university is called the payback policy. That was interesting to hear about. Through which it returns back the entire amount of the course fee to its students upon qualifying the national level of competitive examinations, which has greatly motivated students to work harder, crack the national competitive exam examinations. In the last couple of years, I've learned that over 250 of you have qualified for a lot of these. So congratulations. This is amazing. Yes, you all should be giving yourself a round of applause. It's so encouraging to know USTM is known as a happening organization. You're not just saying it, you're doing it. I cannot stress that enough. And it's also earned the onus of being one of the fastest growing universities of North India. Amazing. And I can see why. I can see why. As it formed, in addition to all the numerous held programs, on a regular basis for the students. The university also hosts prestigious national events, all India political science conferences, geological. I met the professor of uh, geology. Um, he was so nice, I don't know where he is, but a shout out to him. Um, I can't wait to meet more of the faculty. And you host a lot of vice chancellor's conferences, and there's one coming up December 2022 in February of 2023. I'm also aware, and I brought this and started educating a lot of folks um, around the world, that you have already fixed your charter um, it, of making it a global standard institution, and you've heard the chancellor say by what year? 2030. So for those of you that like long-range plans and strategy, 2030 is what we're aiming for putting its best efforts to connect and network with the global intellectual community and institutions of international review. Today, we've come all the way from the U.S. We landed yesterday. I can't express my gratitude enough for the ladies that met us, Fomita and others, at the airport with a long journey, and I'm honored to be marked as your global ambassador, and I promise I won't let you down. I will try my best to achieve the mission and get this a world-class institution by 2030. And I cannot wait to meet all of you. Apart from your regular academic activities, I know that USTM always strives to uplift the society 
with all these initiatives, free education for the poor married students, scholarships, endowment, fellowship, we talked about emergency treatment and medical assistance for the poor and economically weaker sections of society. The Women's Endowment for Financial Assistance to the Widows, interest-free loans, mortgages, awareness, rallies, streets, you name it, this university is all about it. And I cannot stress it enough. And I would personally like to quote a verse from the Book of Bible. We proclaim them, admonishing every man and teaching every man with all wisdom, so that we may present every man complete in Christ. Another verse says, to those who are gracious to the poor, lend to the Lord, and the Lord will fully repay them. I see, I also want the verse to quote by the Quran. I know which means to read, to seek knowledge, educate yourself, be educated. And I feel blessed to be here, a part of a university that believes in this. I'm very honored. To all the teachers that assembled this gathering today, I want to say we are not in it for the income, but we are in it for the outcome. And I believe this university is the outcome of the combined effort led by your dynamic leader, Chancellor Oak. Amazing. I'm sure that under his leadership and this institution, we will achieve major milestones together. And I am extremely, extremely hopeful that this will become Oxford and MIT as we go back and put this university up against them. Lastly, please interact um, as we do our rest ceremonies. And I'm wishing you all of the blessings on future endeavors. And I will be back. Some of you have asked. I'm back. I'm a part of the Board of Governors. But most of all, I want to say to, to each and every one of you, Kabule, Matala, Donibad. Thank you.